and this is a cracker. Yeah. This is, from, this is food from the heart. It's, um, it's made in Spain. Um, and it's, I guess it's all your, your favourites? It's my favourites. A yeah. lot of recipes from my family and, and a few others that I have picked on the, on the way. Very authentic food. It is absolutely <laughs> fantastic. You know how much I love Spain. Um, and you've got my favourite recipe in here, which is for fried milk. And if you think to yourself, fried milk, <laughs> it's the best, isn't it? It's like custard. Uh, it's kind of fried caster oh. so we put it in a batter and it's lots it's, of calories but really delicious but it's all right <laughs> now and again isn't it it's all right to yeah. do that it really is because of course this started i guess with you wanting your boys to cook and and from the blog that you did yeah exactly i got them into, into writing a blog so yeah. that they could learn how to cook and you know yeah. very much from that principle that it's not only girls who need to to know how to cook but exactly. also also books and then yeah. somebody suggested why don't we do a book and I, originally i thought let's just put the recipes but i started adding little stories here and there and i enjoyed it so much i have had so much fun you can tell writing it it's it's lovely because there's there's bits in here about your childhood and lovely photographs yes. in here and actually what i love about it is a lot of the pictures of the food are done by your boys yes yes but they are not Professional quality, but you know what? But again, they are very authentic. But they look great. They look really, really good, and they look, you know, they look proper. And it's a real kind of family affair, yeah. then, isn't it? All the family doing that. I love the fact that you've taught your boys to cook. It's really important, isn't it? Well, they are up and down. Eh? I mean, some, <laughs> some days <laughs> they do more, and some, some days less. they drop me for an Arsenal match. Any day. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, that, you know that's kind of understandable. We can we can understand that for sure. Now, look, as a Spaniard, yeah. and and I know how fiercely proud you are of being Spanish. What about this Brexit? How are you feeling about that? Well, sad. I yeah. feel sad about the decision. I'm, I'm very much in favour of. of open societies, optimistic societies, mm. and, and I think that is a pity that we have come to, to this situation. At a personal level, I also, you know, I also feel the frustration of all those years of, of um, political cost and, and also personal cost, mm. frankly, all gone, because mm. look at the state of the economy. Well, we've got a woman in charge now. This is her first big day. Um, and of course, she, I mean, she didn't really campaign too hard to remain but she was a remainer. So we don't know. The thing is, we don't know, do we? That's it. It's the unknown. Who knows what's going to happen? Well, it is the, the unknown. I'm a lawyer, as you know, yes. so there is a big issue there with the, with the legal uncertainty. I, I have to say that the first decision that I have seen her taken is, is a bit of a, a shocking one. Oh, the now we have as a foreign secretary somebody who called the, the US president half Kenyan and who compared Europe to, to Hitler. So not really sure about how mm. sound that judgment has been so far. You do wonder what's going on there, all the, all the Machiavellian <laughs> things that are happening that we're not privy to. I must yeah. ask you about your man. How's he doing? How's Nick doing? Yeah, he's doing well. He's yes. doing fine. Yes. Is, he, is he not missing Writing all a the... book as well. Is he writing a book? <laughs> is he? We're oh. the book family now. Oh, no, that's great. That's really good. And he's not, he's not missing the sort of cut and thrust. He's, he's probably had enough of that, I would imagine. Well, you will have to ask him. I will have to ask him, of course. <laughs> I'm sure he would be delighted. Do you know what I think was really good? You know, going back to the book again and back to the fact that the, the, the whole Spanish thing. In Britain, we eat too fast. And we don't sit down and we don't do that thing. What is it? Sobre mesa? Is that what they call it? Sobre mesa. Sobre yeah, mesa. Sobre where you mesa. sit on the table, you take your time. Lunch yeah. can take a couple of hours, you know, if you've got that. <laughs> and dinner. And we don't just go, you know, like that. E -e 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 -e. Yeah. And you talk and you take time. I love that. Well, you put it very calmly, you see. I mean, the, the main thing is we, we all sit around the table. So right. we have proper meals. And I think that that is really important for the family structure sure. of, the, of the country. But during the sobre mesa, it's not like nice talking. It's like ferocious. <laughs> argument. So we that's really good, go though. at each other. That's great. And at the end, we make up and, and it's all fine. No? And, and that's how we, we make the family tissue, really. No, exactly. But I think sobri mess is a thing that the, the Brits <laughs> should definitely do. You know, have, have all your discussions over the table. And, you know, not everybody on their phones or watching TV or everything, but just really, you know, and it makes it much more of a family. These are got. Now, what have you brought me? Because this looks amazing. And I, and I can't yes, possibly well, tell to myself. She lied. <laughs> well, there you have an empanada, <gasps> which is something that they do in Galicia. Oh, and, um, I love Galicia. Yeah, Galicia is fantastic, really. Yeah, it's it's one of the best uh, regions for food mm. in, in Spain. They have fantastic seafood. Oh, Miriam, that's amazing. And this comes from Santiago de Compostela, which is oh, a place, place of pil pilgrimage. Mm. And, and lots of British people have actually mm -hmm. been there. And this, this is an olive oil cake. Which an olive is, oil cake? Is from the south. So it's exactly the opposite. It's, it's the land where we right. produce a lot of delicious, really. Mm. 
only Foyland, we use it for everything. We use it for cakes, for salty oh, food. That. We use it to get rid of the makeup. So, <laughs> you know, olive oil for everything. Olive oil, get rid of makeup. That's a brilliant tip. I love that. I love that. I've always said, you know, Miriam, you should have gone into politics because you're so bright <laughs> and you're so good and you're so honest. But no, I don't yeah. think it's going to we be We have enough you. with one in the family. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Thank you so much. I shall eat most of this. I might share some of it with the gang. <laughs> Great to see you. Now, Miriam, the book Thank is out you. when? Uh, it would be out on the 28th, 28th. Of, of July and we are doing it to get funds for um, a campaign that I'm, I'm launching in Inspiring Girls. That is something I have been doing here in the sure. UK and we are doing it internationally. Fantastic. So I very much hope that people buy it because it will help us a lot. It will absolutely. <laughs> and that's a brilliant cause, a brilliant cause, something I know you're very passionate about. And it's called Made in Spain and it's a cracker and it's got fried milk yeah. in it. <laughs> Thank you so much, Miriam. Thank you. Thank Great you to see you. Thank Pleasure. you.